All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another post-fight analysis video. All right, y'all, shout out to my man BJ. He been asking for this. He been wanting me to put out my post-fight thoughts on this rematch here that I know a lot of people weren't big on, but hey, I wanted to check this thing out. You know, um, I just wanted to see a good fight. And sometimes when you put two fighters in here that are fighting for their careers at this point or fighting for their jobs, you know, it's going to be a good fight. And Andrea Lee versus Montana De La Rosa too, I know... This rematch is something y'all didn't ask for, and neither fighter is really in a position to claim that they're ready to get back into the top 15, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But it turned out to be a decent fight. And look, this is what I've been asking for from Montana is to wake up and show it. You know, just just do it. You know, that's all you have to do at this point. I mean, Montana De La Rosa, she's kind of like Andrea Lee, where these girls are big, they're gifted, they're strong. But there's like a lack of confidence in these girls, man. And I just get to the point where I get really frustrated with both of these fighters where it's like, man, like y'all are really throwing things away. Like because you, you got these other girls that might be shorter or they might not have the reach. But, you know, both Montana and Andrea Lee, they've got, you know, they got the reach and they've got this size that they can use to their advantage in these, in, you know, in this division, but they just don't do it. But finally, you know, this time around Montana De La Rosa, she finally woke up in this fight and she finally got some get back. This is all I've been asking, you know, get some get back from Andrea Lee, you know, because if you don't, you out of there. All right. Loser leaves town. And that's what it was with this fight. Um, Montana De La Rosa, for the most part, um, you know, she she was able to let her hands go in this fight. She was able to control the pace. And I think that that's that's kind of where she was able to separate herself from Andrea Lee is the fact that I think Andrea Lee is more so like a little bit mentally done. You know, I think she just, you know, she still has those physical attributes about her, but she just seems like she's physically done. And then whenever she's fighting, like she mentally checks out. But Montana, she's still hanging on. Like Montana Del Rosa still had enough to go in there and try to go for a victory you know she's still going after it and that's how she approached this fight like the first round right away andrea lee was pumping that jab out so right away i was like oh man now uh we about to get the first fight all over again because she was stiffing that you know she was stiff arming that jab in montana del rosa's face but montana she did a good job of throwing one twos you know she was throwing some left right hooks left hook right hooks to get around the guard of andrea lee but andrea lee was still pumping that jab out you know but um Montana's aggression I liked it you know she was going after it she was trying to put that pressure on Andrea Lee and I think she was trying to expose that that hey look I got the heart I'm still strong I got the pressure and I'm gonna put it on you I'm gonna start earlier than I did in the first fight and that's what she was doing now she was she was get, she was getting caught with some shots and that's what I was worried about when Andrea Lee was sticking that right hand out and she was sticking that jab out uh, Montana De La Rosa she didn't quit though she kept putting that pressure on but then pop she got caught I believe it was like a spinning back fist or it was that left hook, right? I think it was the left hook that Andrea Lee caught Montana De La Rosa with. But she bounced right back up. She bounced right back up. And then she went straight in for a clinch and was trying to get the fight to the ground. And that's why I said, okay, that's where Montana needs to try to get this fight. But I had to give the first round to Andrea Lee. I think she landed the cleaner shots. And she landed the more damaging shots. And like I said, she scored a knockdown. But the second round is where I was impressed, all right? I was a little impressed with Montana De La Rosa here. You know, she was actually out striking Andrea Lee, like... All of a sudden, I just noticed like the pace slowed down and Montana De La Rosa was actually just like popping away. You know, she was just like popping away at Andrea Lee and Andrea Lee was just like sitting back. Like, Andrea Lee was not in. She was not in the rhythm. Like she would just sit back and she was eating these these one twos from Montana. And that's what I was talking about. Like, Montana, you know, she has the reach you know she just really needs to start using that in these fights you know she needs to let those hands go and she was finally letting those hands go and it was making andrea lee stop you know it was making andrea lee kind of uh lose her rhythm and she was landing those good pot shots you know so um i was impressed with that round i thought montana was gonna have to take it to the ground but no she outstruck her and won around the, clearly uh the third round was interesting though you know um they started going back and forth here. You know, Andrea Lee started letting more shots go. A little bit of blood started coming out. So I got that prediction right here. You know, once again, Andrea Lee started putting that jab in one, two in Montana De La Rosa's face to start the round off. But then Montana started amping it up again. You know, she started letting her hands go. Went in, got a good takedown. And Andrea Lee, you know, she's good on the bottom. You know, she, she, she got a reversal. But Montana De La Rosa, she was trying to get that back throughout this fight. You know, she was putting that weight on Andrea Lee's back. 
Uh, she was able to get some good ground control time in and actually use her grappling to control Andrea Lee. And that's where I feel like Andrea Lee just kind of checked out. She didn't really have much left for, left for her. And then like in that last few seconds, Montana really capped it off with some heavy ground and pound too. So yeah, um, I thought Montana did, you know, enough to win the fight. Um, I had it two rounds to one for Andrea Lee. Uh, excuse me, two rounds to one for Montana De La Rosa. You know, she did her job this time around. Um, split decision. Um, I can't really say it was a split decision because, like I said, the second round, I don't think Andrea Lee did enough to win that round. And that was clearly a Montana round. And same same with the third round because I thought Montana did enough to, um, you know, just get ground control time in and land some damage and striking. Um, the only round I think Andrea Lee clearly won was the first round because of the knockdown. All right. So, yeah, man, um, Montana De La Rosa, she was able to get some get back with this one. Um, shout out to Montana for that. But uh, this is just kind of like what I've been talking about, like she has to do right now. And um, I'm not sure if it's too late now. Is, is this too late? Uh, you know, she is younger than Andrea Lee, but, you know, she's letting it go now. But she's going to have to keep doing this now. You know what I mean? Like, I know this broke her four fight losing streak, but uh, was it three fight or four fight losing streak for uh, Montana De La Rosa? Uh, this would have been her fourth fight that she lost in a row because she lost to Macy uh jj and tatiana right so yeah this would have been her fourth fight so yeah she cracked the three fight losing streak right so um from here she's got to keep it moving man she's got to let her hands go and she's got to use her physicality to her advantage you know she's one of the bigger flyweights here but she just hasn't really been using that size so uh moving forward from here i think she just needs to fight another couple of unranked fighters again and she needs to dominate you know she needs to dominate and get some finishes and she needs to reinvent you know, she needs to re reinvent herself mentally. That's what I think for Montana at this point. But, uh, yeah, her striking looked decent in this this fight. Um, she just needs to do more of that. She really needs to just let it go. As for Andrea Lee, that's five in a row for her, man. And like I said, I, I feel like she just mentally checks out in a, in a fight. And I'm going to say it again, it's sad because I feel like Andrea Lee, she's got one of the best physiques for flyweight. You know, she's long, not skinny. You know, she's got muscles, but she's not too lean. You know, she's got like almost a 70 inch reach. She's like, what, five, six, five, seven. She's got, you know, a well-rounded game, you know, a long jab. She's got kickboxing, judo, BJJ. But what is all of that if you're not letting your hands go and you're not confident in yourself, you know? So at this point, I'd hate to see her go, but with five losses in a row, you know, what else are you going to do at this point, right? You know, maybe she has to go back and, reignite the flame in pfl maybe they do something for her or lfa or something but if she's going to continue to fight it has to be somewhere else because she's just not she's just not mentally capable capable to compete with these ufc fighters and, and i mean when you look at her yeah she's ufc caliber right going by her physique her, by, by her physique and you know her her tools and all of that but nah man like other than that that's about it so i think from here yeah andrea lee she's probably going to get cut Montana De La Rosa continue to fight some unranked fights and so we see we see where we go from here all right let me know what y'all think guys combo breaker 99 I'm out subscribe peace